This this coast to coast storm is going to continue to move across uh, the United States. It is going to be San Francisco as well as those of you in San Diego that are going to be getting the brunt of this live look all over and of San Francisco where we do have a frost advisory. This is uh, going until 9 a.m. So as you wake up this morning, uh, some of you out there may see that little glaze on your cars as well as on the windows there. And Jason, you know, the National Weather Service office putting out a tweet yesterday from the office out of San Diego, you know, just talking about the rarity of this event. I mean, for them, it's their first blizzard warning that they have issued. So it's really important to get the messaging out here because people might not actually realize that this is a real deal. They're talking about travel not only being very difficult, but to be quite honest, it might be not possible. There's going to be mountain passes that are shut down. The visibility will be tanking. But on top of that, the strong winds can cause a lot of issues, not only with visibility, but keeping your car on the road. Yeah, matter of fact, it's now in effect because mm -hmm. it just started as of 4 a.m. It's 7 o'clock here on the East Coast here. All right, so let's take a look right now at the current radar, and you see pretty much a mixed bag here. So you're seeing green as well as some white popping up here, and I even think I just saw some thunderstorms uh, even there right there on the radar. This is pretty cool stuff here. This is how you know it's live television here. All right, to the north and east of there over in Nevada or just to the west there, Reno, I should say, uh, over in Truckee, it looks like we got some snow that's popping up here. This is the reason why we have all of these different warnings that have been popping up here. Winter storm warnings for Northern California. We have some blizzard warnings in effect for those of you in L.A. County. Important to note here, downtown L.A., not going to see snow here. But it's those of you that are in an elevation in excess of 1,500 feet. Fraser Park is going to be one of those places. Mount Wilson is going to be one of those places where, Britta, we could see the visibility cut down to less than a quarter of a mile. And we could also see those winds gusting up above 35 miles per hour. And although we don't have an official outlook for severe weather, I will tell you, I've, I've spent a lot of time in California. These are those classic setups where we can get funnel clouds. We can get isolated tornadoes. They are rare events, but when they do occur, it usually occurs when we have a massive area of low pressure that is routing down the coast. So heads up, if you hear something maybe up in Northern California, I wouldn't be too shocked. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.